It's St George's Day, so let's have a look at the idea of facing up to dragons. Even in this strange time of, uh, of lockdown, schools closed, we are hardly leaving our houses. But that doesn't mean that we aren't facing challenges. Some of these are, well, they're fairly small, really. But others, even within our own homes and families, are actually rather big problems that we face, dragons that we face usually can't avoid these dragons so we've got two choices either take them on to defeat them or run away and hide second option really doesn't often work because these dragons tend not to go away we've got to look at taking them on and defeating them let's look at this idea from saint paul about putting on god's armor stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled round your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. What are the difficulties that you face today? And how could the armour of God help you to defeat these dragons? What is it that we need to put on? Being honest, being righteous, that's being good and doing what is right. Being peacemakers, putting our faith in God and being guided by the word of God in the Bible. We finish with a prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, help us today to put on your armour, the belt of truth to protect against lies and deception, the breastplate of righteousness to protect from temptations we battle, the gospel of peace so we are ready to be peacemakers wherever we find ourselves, the shield of faith that will extinguish all the threats hurled our way, dark thoughts, temptations, anxieties. The helmet of salvation, which covers our thoughts, reminding us we are your children, forgiven and set free. The sword of the spirit, your word given to us in the Bible to guide us in life. Lead us in the peace and freedom of your spirit and not be overcome with fear and anxious thoughts. Amen.